All right, hi friends. Tonight we're talking about how do you upgrade or update your Zoom clients so that you can have the latest version. That latest version, 5.3.0, now will allow the teacher to have a grid, a seven by seven grid, allowing you to see 49 students at the same time. So how do we get that update? Uh, two ways. One, I can come to zoom.us slash download and then come down to the Zoom client for meetings and download that version right here. If you're not sure if you need the update or not, or if you're already updated, here's the way I like to check it. When I'm logged into Zoom, I'm just going to go ahead and start a meeting. And then it's going to open my Zoom meeting, that app, wait for it to load up and connect. And then there it is. Sometimes you'll see right behind, so yeah, get through all this, kind of minimize this up for you. But you're going to notice that behind that little zoom button at the bottom of your screen, there's this kind of blank gray screen. When I click on it, here it is my Zoom Cloud Meetings. I can click on Sign In and click on Sign with Google. Sometimes you can end your meeting and you'll see this little window pop up as well. Now that you are here, I'm going to come up and click on your little icon. And there is the check for updates. So I'm going to go through and check for updates. Mine says, yep, I'm all good. If you do have the update, then it'll say, okay, do you want to download it and install it? Um, you cannot run a Zoom meeting during that time. So just make sure this is in between meetings uh, or before or after your Zoom meeting. And that's how you can update um, to version 5.3.0 and get that new grid. Thanks for watching. One more thing to note, besides the 49 uh, participants per screen in gallery view, some other cool things that I just noticed is that they have now have a self-select breakout room. So the host can now create a breakout room and participants can jump back and forth in the room that they would like to join. Kind of a cool feature. Again, thanks for watching and make sure you update your Zoom client. Please note on a Chromebook, the way to do that is to make sure that you're running the latest Chrome OS by checking for updates on your Chromebook. Make sure you shut it down and turn it back on. Thanks.